Check, 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 check. Oh, I didn't set up my stuff over here. Hold on. Hold on. This feels really low. I'm just angle it up a little bit. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. What's up, Gunzo? Check, 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 check. How you doing? Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. Richard, you're on time. What's up? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just giving you a hard time. What's up, dude? Gonna move some stuff around here, drink some of my Mio. Cause I'm thirsty. Someone near me or I know has to be pregnant. You're eating salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> what? What's wrong with salt and vinegar chips, Gunzo? They're delicious. Okay, let's talk about today's build. We've got no, it's hiding back here. A Ryzen 9 7900X. We went with this based on the budget and the fact that uh, this is gonna be Wiz of Westwood's PC and he really wants to game and stream from a single PC. So having 12 cores with that 7900X, it's gonna do that for him. We also got 32 gigs of RAM from Team Group. This is their newer line, the T-Create. It's a really good looking, um, you know, CL36,000 set of RAM. So great, great there. Got three terabytes of storage. Again, if he's wanting to game and stream for the one PC, lots of storage, super helpful if he's, you know, doing any sort of editing or, you know, storing clips, all that sort of good stuff. Got some fans. Of course, have our RTX 4080 from Gigabyte and a SUS X670E motherboard from the Tough series. And then this Fractal Lumen S36 RGB. Um, you guys will get to see the case here in a little bit uh, once we get to that point in the build, but I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with both of the design and execution that Mrs. Redneck, Mrs. Redneck achieved for that case. Like you're gonna be, you're gonna be blown away. All right, just just prepare yourself for it because it's coming. This is Wiz's build. Yeah, this is Wiz's build. Yo, what's up, RK? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Gotten your hands on any new hardware? I know the like 14th gen just came out and got the, the new refresh motherboards out. I feel like I need more water, man. I feel like I haven't drank much today. I started my day off with a homemade pumpkin scone that I made last night and then a quad shot Americano because my local coffee shop only does doubles and quads. So. Yeah, maybe just a little bit dehydrated today. But, but no matter, we're gonna drink some more water here and we're gonna be good to go. We'll only have to pee like three or four times during this stream and it'll be fine. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, just a good solid three or four sprints to the little boy's room and we'll be fine. I'm just kidding. Gunzo hit level four. Let's go. 4090 EVA-02 red build. What's what's that? What's the EVA-02? Is that the... No, that was an AMD. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna get to building here. We've got our Asus Tough. X670E motherboard. Get her on out of here. And there's some stuff in here. We got our Wi Fi adapter in there. Okay, that's it. Got all of the manuals and stuff. That's great. That's wonderful. M.2 standoffs. We shouldn't need any of those. I think they all come, <clears throat> or at least the, the first two come pretty, pretty assembled. So. Should be good on that. It's an anime Evangelion build. Ooh. Is that the, like, like it came from the factory with the anime thing? I thought that might be what it was, but I, I couldn't remember. Cause like there was, was there a motherboard and a CPU or GPU, I mean, that 
that came out like that, like super limited edition. I guess I don't know how limited edition. I thought they were, I assume they would be pretty limited. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Now that, now, that, now that you mention what you're talking about, yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's pretty sweet, I'll be honest. Like how many of those did they make? It seems like something that like, they wouldn't want to make a ton of. Oh my God, did I really just do that to myself? <laughs> I pushed the little plastic tab down in between these two pieces of metal. Good job, Red. Good work. <clears throat> Sorry, you have to hear that. You're fiending for a coffee right now? I don't know what that means. I don't know what fiending is. All right, Ryzen 9, 7900X. Let's get her installed. MJ, yo, what's up? Got this Ryzen 9 7900X. This is a great, great CPU for the purpose um, because he is wanting to game and stream from this one build. So while in game, he maybe would have benefited more from just a 7800X 3D, when you're gaming and streaming from the one PC, having those additional, what is it, four cores is gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be very helpful. It'll also be nice for like editing and whatever other things you might be doing. More cores equal more better. <coughs> okay, we've got that installed. Let's get to installing our SSDs. First one is going to be the Crucial P5 Plus, one terabyte. That is a Gen 4 SSD. I believe it's good for like mm, six or 7,000 read write speed. Something, something fast. I don't know. I don't remember anymore, but it's good. It's a good, it's a really good uh, SSD. It's from a good reputable brand. And you know, it's very reasonably priced right now. I think these are only like 60 or 70 bucks. Prices on SSDs lately are just, they're crazy. They're so low. Um, you can get you can get one terabyte PCIe Gen 3 SSDs for like 30 bucks right now. A full terabyte for 30 bucks. It's crazy. Crazy. Crucial P5 Plus. Okay, get that into our little retention feature. Perfect. I guess I'll take this bolt out even though it's pretty much useless. Fine. We'll keep it. We being Wiz can keep it. Alrighty. Should I make a Twitter post, you guys? Just to like let people know we're live right now? Yeah, get a nice like aesthetically pleasing picture there. Don't worry about me. We're just if a whiz is on here. Okay, there we go. Let's copy that. We're going to post it onto Facebook too. Yo, MJ, you're on the on the green and the red, going back and forth. You mean X? I, mm, sure. I mostly just refer to it as Twitter because we all know what we mean when we say Twitter. Who can see your post? Hopefully everyone. But we all know that's a lie if it's on Facebook. Okay, we're good. For who? Oh, look at this guy coming in. What's up, Wiz? How are we doing? All right, so far we've got your Ryzen 9 7900X installed. And then we've got this Crucial P5 partially installed. Just gotta get this heat sink on top and we're good to go.
Happy Friday. You got in trouble one day because I said a twat I sent. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, instead of a tweet? It's silly. It's just silly. Okay. Got your Gen 4 one terabyte SSD in there, the faster of the two. And I believe this is a Gen 3, but it still goes up to 3,500, so this is a reasonably fast SSD. Happy frickin' Friday. How's everybody doing today? What's going on? All right, so the secondary SSD is gonna go right down here. So we'll just uh, take that on out, take that heat sink off, and we're good to go. It's looking good, dude. Wait until you see, <clears throat> Wiz, wait until you see what this case looks like. Mrs. Redneck did a fantastic job on the uh, the paint scheme. I think you're really gonna like it. Just working on securing media buys for Disney. What the? <clears throat> media buys for Disney? I don't even know what that means. It sounds really important. And <clears throat> honestly, it sounds cooler than my day job. Let's just put it that way. Oh wait, we got one up here too. No, we're not gonna use that one. We wanna use one with a heat sink. <clears throat> Man, I had something in my throat today. Okay, got that. Yep. Cable commercials. Oh, fancy. He's in the entertainment industry. Media is like all types of billboards, digital ads, TV commercials. Okay. So is Disney one of your clients? Or do you work for that section of Disney? Company's client is Disney. Okay. All right. Got all your storage in there. Let's take a look at this. Team Group T Create CL36000. It's a 32 gig kit. Um, honestly, I think for a non RGB set of RAM, I don't think you can get anything better looking than this stuff right now. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. It's not, it's much more Apple esque and clean. Not so much like super rugged and whatever. Like it's just nice clean lines, very simple. Got this nice little T-Create sticker on it. Come on, there we go. Let's get those out. Actually, they're pretty low profile too, which is cool. Very nice if you have a smaller form factor build or have a big tower air cooler that could get in the way. So let's take a look at that. Yo, what's up, Trap? How we doing? Like, isn't that, doesn't, isn't that just, isn't that just pretty? Just a nice, beautiful design. Yo, Mark, how we doing? Yeah, these are like, I mean, they were released, what, within the last couple months? You work on Disney theatrical and Disney Plus titles, too. I wish I had Disney Plus. There's so many things on Disney Plus that I would watch, but I just, I don't know. I don't want to pay for another streaming service. <laughs> no, you know? Just don't want to pay for it. Oh my God, why can't my, I don't my hands work. My hands are all shaky right now. And not because I'm nervous. They just I need to drink more water in me. Mark, I appreciate you coming over here. I appreciate it. Trap, how we doing today? Okay, everything on the motherboard is installed and we're ready to get our case out here. And I'm gonna show you guys. You guys are gonna be excited about this. Well, Wiz will be at least because it's his PC. But I think y'all are all gonna be pretty excited about how this thing turned out. Okay, there's your, there's your front view. There's kind of the isometric view. You can't quite tell from the video because it's a little too tall, but the top is also this matching blue up here. I mean, come on, come on. How sick is that? So everyone who's not Wiz, can y'all guess what collegiate team this color scheme and everything is based on? <laughs> now, that the, now that you've seen it? What do we think? What do we think? Can anyone guess what it is? All right. Got to get all these panels off now. 
so that I can start building in it. And I go with that one. It's in my name. Why are you so stubborn down there? There we go. Thank you. Probably just a little extra, uh, there's a, just a little bit of over spray on some of those knobs, so they might be a little, a little sticky for the first couple of times, but that's okay. You shouldn't have to do that at all. Superhero Squad. Now it's a collegiate team, Gunzo. It's a collegiate team. Okay. So we gotta remove this front case fan, and then we can move on to getting things installed. I'm also going to take the accessory kit out now while I have good access to it. Sorry, all the colors are gone, but I mean, you can still probably guess who it is, chat. I'm sure you guys can still guess it. You're smart. You guys want to know how many of these NZXT fans I have just sitting around my office now? It's absurd. I think I, I think I have like 20 of them. I probably should just start selling them on, on eBay. <clears throat> Someone Google the city in my name. Westwood, born and raised. I'm just kidding, that's probably not. I don't think that's how that song goes, but it's okay. All right, well, let's get this guy out of here. I'll give one more hint. Josh Wooden. That doesn't help me at all. I don't really watch sports at all, so. <laughs> I keep up with sports just enough this year to ensure that my fantasy league is not completely falling apart, and that's, that's really about it. <clears throat> Jackie Robinson. Getting there, getting there. Warmer, warmer. Okay. All right. Let's get our motherboard installed. Jackie played all sports. I know, but like, again, I don't, I don't, watch, I don't really watch any sports. You know, I don't really watch any sports, okay? Okay, let's get this guy in here. Uh, 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 it's a little tight with this thing here. Okay, let's find something to grab onto. All right, there we go. Make sure all the standoffs are actually there because the last PC I built, for some reason, not all the standoffs were in there. Okay, we're good. Indiana. <laughs> you almost said UCLA. It is UCLA, you bums. Honestly, I think it's kind of funny that it took that long for someone to get it, but Wiz is probably dying inside. Probably dying inside a little bit about that. Your mom went to UCLA, so it's in your blood. Nice. You're a Hoosier, graduated 2017. Nice. Okay, let's get this thing tightened down. Bloomington was fun, great college town. Yo, Emberetto, how we doing, man? Good to see you. Just over here building the computer. I think I'm a little dehydrated because my hands are shaking, but that's okay. I'll just keep drinking some more water. We'll be good. Uh, we've got an AMD 7900X build, so Ryzen 9, three terabytes of storage, 32 gigs of RAM, got an RTX 4080, um, and then a UCLA themed case. Are you, Richard? What color are you gonna buy it in? I need to figure out, I need to get someone to, once I, film that review, I'm gonna have to try and get someone to buy buy a PC with it. <clears throat> uh, yep, this is the H7 Flow from NZXT. It's 
Same color in black. Nice. Yeah, I ordered one so that I can do like a full review video on it. And then, um, yeah, after that, I don't know what I'll do with it. Hopefully I'll get convince someone to buy it. Wiz, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Sheesh. Got the one with the glass on the front and the side. Oh, you got like the Elite H7? Yeah, I prefer, I always prefer the, the high airflow versions because especially with higher end builds, getting good airflow can be super important. Now I gotta figure out how to hide it from the wife. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yo, what's up Kremlin, how we doing? Yep, 7900X 4080 combo. It's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be, um, it's gonna be great actually because it's got a, uh, it's a gaming plus streaming build all in one. Sorry, Wiz, I'm just adding you over here. Make sure you don't already have one. Getting your entry into the giveaway. Puts us at 215 out of 450. Nice, nice. Okay, got that added. <coughs> yeah, it's a great combo for sure. All right, switch back to here. Yeah, Richard, good luck hiding. Good luck hiding the uh, the price of that build or of that uh, that case from your wife, especially considering your your case isn't that old. <laughs> like it's like less than a year old, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna shift this over here for a second. We're gonna put these front case fans on. Then we'll put the AIO on. Get to cable managing everything. It'll be good, it'll be a good time. Good time. Loved your reel about the most important part of the PC, the wallet. <laughs> I had somebody like saw it and they were like, I can't see what it is. And I was like, it's a wallet. Money. Money is the most important part of your PC. <laughs> gotcha. A little bit of dry humor for people. You're like, Richard gotta hide stuff from the wife at times? <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to wife hide anything from my wife, because um, we're both pretty avid budgeters. So anything, anything that goes into the budget, like she's gonna know about. Like any, any spending she's gonna know about. However, um, she wouldn't necessarily know about it if I spent it for business purposes. So like I bought that case to review um, on here, but like it's not coming out of my personal, it's not coming out of our personal spending. So she won't know about that technically. I mean, I'm not gonna hide it from her, but she's not gonna care enough to, to ask about it. A brave man with a glass of drink that close to electronics. I'm a, I'm a practiced PC builder, not spiller. All right. Also, yeah, my hands are just pretty shaky right now because I don't think I drank enough water today. So it's, it's not really an option for me to not be drinking water right now. <laughs> I probably could use some more food too, but I don't have any food here. I do have water here, so that's what we're going with. Gonna sell the case with the fans you have in it to offset the cost. Yeah, you probably get a little bit of money out of it. I mean, it's a $200, the, the old case that you've got the Y60, the $200 case, right? New, so yeah, you'll be able to offset that a bit. Yeah, the wife and I, are very avid budgeters. Like we have a like a monthly meeting to go over our monthly budget and adjust stuff and all that. So ain't no way we're hiding nothing. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> Sorry, my lips are just a little chapped. These all started. Start getting them tightened down all the way. This right here is where I'm like, man, I wish I had something electric to finish driving all these. But again, I'm always worried about it. It's something like electric stripping out the threads. Here, you just gotta work a little bit so you're working. All good, man. You do what you gotta do. Okay. Last two. It burns. Feel the burn. We did it, chat. We did it. All right. So this down here is gonna get connected in to this guy. And this is gonna have to connect in up here. Oh wait, no, it doesn't need to connect in up top. You don't need to connect that into anything. Never mind. I'm just gonna toss that down in there. Okay. Well, let's get this installed real quick. Just gotta do that. Okay, get that one started. That one. Okay. It's in there nice and tight. Oi, oi. What's up, Hatfield? Okay. I'm gonna run that to the back like a so. Connect this guy in. All right, and then let's start working on connecting all of this stuff. <clears throat> oh, wait, 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 wait. It's time for Susan. We almost forgot. How do I almost forget this every time? I've had Susan for how long? How long and I can't remember? Okay, let's get Susan up here. Get her nice and centered. Okay, feels pretty good. Yeah. Slide it on over. And then I'm gonna start installing all this IO. We're gonna do it in the traditional redneck order. HD audio first. Why do I do that one first, you ask? Nobody really knows. Nobody really knows. Okay. I'm gonna grab front panel I.O. Because that one's nice and easy on this one. Just like that. Got our USB Gen 3.T. Done. Get our USB 3, which is right next to it. Okay. okay just like that. Get a little water. What's up, Right Tech? How you doing? Clean cut. Thank you. Just got it. Just got it like yesterday. It does. It does feel nice. Or maybe the day. No, no, it was yesterday. It was supposed to be the day before, and then I kind of forgot. I had to call them like five minutes before my appointment. I was like, hey, by the way, um, I'm not gonna make it to my appointment. 
They were like, how dare you? Just kidding. They were like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it was yesterday. What happened to the stash though? Um, here's what happened. I sent a singular picture to my wife and her first response was, I'm not talking to you. Um, and then she kind of followed that up with other texts throughout the day that made it pretty clear that she was not, mm, not interested in me keeping the mustache. Um, yeah, and she was out of town when I did it. So she didn't have to deal with it that day, but it was pretty obvious that her feelings weren't gonna change between then and when she got home. So we, uh, we just kind of took care of that. We just took it off, took it off. All right, all of our front panel stuff is connected. Our front fans are connected. Technically I could put the front bit of the case back on. Asus CPU, yes sir, Ryzen 9 7900X. Uh, who wants to see the front? Who wants to see the front put back on? I think we all do. I think we all do, you know? Um, I just don't remember which way is the top and which way is the bottom. I think it's this way. I mean, how freaking cool is that? No redneck PI, I know. Should have done, we should have filmed some stuff with the mustache being like a, yeah, like an investigator. Next time, Hatfield, next time. It'll be like three years from now, but next time we'll do it for sure. Okay, so all this stuff is in. It's not well managed yet. Keyword yet. Um, let's kind of fix some of this. So I can clean it up a little bit. <clears throat> D-backs or Rangers? Neither. Collegiate, I think collegiate. Not professional sports, collegiate. Okay. Okay. Can't really tidy that up much at the moment. So let's get our CPU cooler going. No, on the World Series. Oh, I don't know. You think I watch baseball? You think I watch baseball? I don't. I barely watch it when I'm actually there. Baseball is a fun sport to go to if you want to drink some beer, eat some, you know, reasonably tasting hot dogs and fries and nachos if you can eat those, I can't, and hang out with your friends. That's, that's about it in, in terms of the reasons why I would watch baseball. Sorry. If you were cool, you would. If I was cool, I would what? Watch baseball? Would I watch baseball if I was cool? Nobody knows. Too old to be cool now. It's over for me. Nachos tear your stomach up? Yeah, I don't like stuff. I don't like, uh, I can't have dairy. Most unpatriotic thing you've said today? <laughs> I don't, I'm not like ragging on other people for enjoying baseball. I just personally don't enjoy watching. It's kind of like, I can watch, it's kind of the same vein, like I can watch highlights of soccer, but getting me to sit down and watch like the full 90 minutes of soccer? Nah, nah. Uncle Bud, what's up? You are correct, I love going to baseball games, but I can't watch it on TV. That's how I feel about most sports. I really enjoy, I enjoy the like, the hype and excitement of sports games like being there, but like watching on TV, nah, nah. Just as bad as watching golf. Yeah, watching golf, well, that's just the thing about watching golf though, is they know it's kind of boring. And so they, they purposely will like basically only show you highlights. Like golf is basically just one long highlight reel, you know? I think, I don't know how, I think this mount sideways like that. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so if it's gonna mount like that, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait, wait, you just gotta switch it. Gotta switch that on over to the other side. Break on through to the other side. 
Okay, so when I flip this over, these fans are gonna point to the right. <clears throat> Football is the only sport you enjoy watching on TV. That's fair. Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> love that. I love it. I love it. Did I play any in school? Oh, I played everything in school. Uh, growing up, I played um, football, baseball, basketball. Uh, in high school, I switched. I stopped playing baseball and I started playing golf. Like I had been playing golf growing up, but just not like like competitively, you know? Um, so I played golf for my high school team. And then um, I played football and basketball and golf all through high school. Then I played tennis as well during like it's the same season as golf. Played that my senior year. Um, in college, I played, um, I played on the, intra or not intramural, I played on the club club team for volleyball. Um, yeah, I played a lot of, I played a lot of sports for most of my life. I even learned how to play soccer as an adult. I just don't enjoy watching it. Playing it, count me in, always down. Watching it, I don't, don't like it. <clears throat> Every Sunday I'm mad as AF after church, so I stopped watching. <laughs> what team do you like, Gunzo? Oh, the Bucks. Oh, okay. Well, if it makes you feel better, Gunzo, for a very, very long time, I have been, I mean, my, basically my whole life, I've been a Rams fan. And for most of my life, the Rams have been pretty, pretty bad. Like, besides 2000, 2001, like that era, and like the last, and like that one year they won the, um, the Super Bowl, and kind of surrounding that, like they've been pretty bad. So I, I feel you on that. Why did you have to say the Rams? We won't won't even capitalize the C in Cardinals because they don't deserve it. Um, well, I mean that's what I like. My dad grew up in Southern California for a while. I mean, he was an army kid, so he kind of grew up everywhere, but like he was born born in Southern California and you know spent some years there. So he was an LA Rams fan. All my brother-in-laws are Rams fans. <laughs> I mean, like you, I mean like you can probably tell like since I don't really watch football and stuff, I'm not some die-hard fan that lives or dies and hates other other uh, teams or anything like that, but that's like who I would root for. What's a Super Bowl win like? Christ and Bengals, man. <laughs> yeah. Do the Bengals not have any Super Bowl wins? Sorry, this is how little I, you know, I don't, I don't know enough. The Bengals aren't like a super old, they're not like one of the OG teams, are they? Like, are they, are they a newer team? Not like new, new, but like, not one of the like first teams in the NFL or they just have been historically not great. Yeah, Falk and Warner, that's that's kind of who I grew up, like grew up really enjoying it was like Falk and Warner and it was a Reggie Wayne, something like that. Can't remember the, the other receiver. College, it varies. I mean, if it's college, like I'm probably gonna be rooting for my own college, Oregon State. They're not very good. So, there's that. <laughs> but I'll root for them anyways. <clears throat> okay. Oh my God, there's so many freaking fan cables. I think they all daisy chain at least, but still, it seems like a lot. <clears throat> To be fair, Gunzo, <clears throat> the like Falk and Warner days, like shortly thereafter is probably like the last few years where I even knew in more than like five names of people playing sports or playing football. So yeah, that's, about, that's about the level of, of sports knowledge I have. Like the Suns, the Diamondbacks, the Celtics, 76ers, Bulls, Falcons, Cardinals, Reds. 
Mikey, what's up? <clears throat> Why did this guy pick these colors? Just kidding, I'm his, I'm his mod. <laughs> <clears throat> Three Super Bowl appearances since they started in 68 and never won. Dang, man, that sucks. Not like they suck, like that just, that sucks. Right, it's like, are you only streaming at night right now? Just like randomly streaming when the, when the, the whim, the whim hits you. I feel like it's been late at night too. Like it's not even like six or something. Like it's been like when I'm already like sitting on the couch. My sports now is sitting at the table and paying bills. So that'll get your heart rate going, won't it? For basketball, there are several schools you root for. Duke, Indiana, Texas, UCLA, any team that plays the Iowa Hawkeyes football, it's UCLA. Anyone that plays the Hawkeyes, Alabama or Notre <laughs> Dame. Nice. Just random streams when you're free, gotcha. Could root for UCLA, you went to San Diego State, full ride for golf, ooh. What was your, what's your like, I mean, maybe you don't play very much anymore, but what's your, what was your handicap in college? Like scratch. I don't really know what handicaps do once they are no longer positive, but I'm sure they do something. Okay, this is fun times. If it makes you feel better, my handicap for 18 holes is typically around 20. Like if it was official, it might be a little bit lower than that, but yeah, around 20. Usually shoot somewhere in the realm of bogey golf. Scratch was number one on the team from freshman to senior. Dang, dude. I always wish I was that good. I just don't have the consistency. Now, obviously, I also never put in like, probably never put in enough work to get to that level. But even for like the level I was at and the amount of time I was putting into it, I feel like I just never, I just never like got the consistency of like my swing being, like feeling the same every time, you know? I just get, I get, I get too squirrely. Maybe it just wasn't enough time put in or whatever. But. Go blue, Michigan State. Let me steal your calls. <laughs> you like watching golf, but you can't play it for shit? Yeah. I, I've only been to one golf tournament. Um, the Winco Foods Open, it was for not PGA, like whatever they're calling the nationwide tour now um, in like the Portland area. And it was super fun. Like I was there with my wife. Um, we just kind of like walked around, followed a couple of people and even she enjoyed it. I mean, granted there was a lot of food and stuff there, but it was, yeah, we really had a lot of fun. I would love to do that again. It would be cool to do one that's like PGA level to like, you know, be able to actually know the the players' names and stuff. I didn't really know anyone on the, the nationwide, but it's pretty cool though. Taco, what's up? It's looking nice. You always remember building your first. It was a beautiful disaster. <laughs> nice. Yeah, my first was scary. It's just scary, man. We're gonna scoot that to the back of the case a bit. We got all these in here, so we can just start tightening them down now. You learned a lot. Yeah, you do learn a lot. Every build, well, maybe not every build at this point for me, but you know, still learn new stuff all the time. <clears throat> Need to come to the Phoenix Open here. I mean, how hot is it when the Phoenix Open's happening? <laughs> it's a huge drunk fest? Oh, yeah. That's not really my scene. I mean, I enjoy having a, a drink or two, walking around, but like, I don't really want to get shmammered. Okay, that is installed. 
And then we're just gonna go like that. Pop that on once I get the AMD brackets on. Now you're seeing, I don't drink, but people are watching. Oh, I bet. Yeah, as long as, I don't know if I would like be willing to make a trip that far to, uh, to do that though. Okay, got that on. Let's see if we can set that down without it touching anything. Perfect, perfect. Just gotta find all the appropriate, appropriate pieces. It's those right there. Okay, so we need that. We need that, and we need that, and we need that. Everything else can go back in here. Really like that Fractal actually utilizes the built-in brackets for AMD. It's very convenient, and it might be why I choose it sometimes when I'm like, ooh, an AMD, an AMD CPU, maybe we can use a Fractal one. Because they're reasonably priced too, not, not super expensive. <clears throat> the waste management open. Okay, so I think these go on the outward side like that. Like that. You wouldn't believe I had to phone a friend and many, many YouTubes. Yeah, I basically just like watched a YouTube video step by step as I was building my first PC. You got your Redneck PC? I had to phone him just to turn it on. <laughs> Hilarious. State is green, sucker. Interesting story about how I got a great price on the first BMW that you bought. Somewhat gold related though. Interesting. Okay. Let's get that on there. Come on, come on, come on. Get that, get up, left, to the left. There we go. Tighten both of those up a little bit. Good enough. There it is, look at that. Maybe clean that up a little bit. Get my handprints off of it afterwards. Golf related FML. What? Oh, like you won part, like you got a good price on a BMW because you kicked somebody's butt in golf or something. Okay, and that goes at the bottom. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of room to stick this into the CPU cooler block though. It seems like a, maybe an oversight on their part, a little bit. It's literally like directly behind that. Why? Why? Why would you do this? Can I rotate this? Nope, definitely can't. Okay, well. I'm gonna loosen up the top a good bit here, and then I'm gonna just take the bottom. Oh, yep, there we go, loosen that a little more. I'm gonna try and let's hold that in place a little bit. Some blue on it, you'll make it fit. Oh, throw some lube on it? No, it's just like the post is, what the heck? The whole thing is in the way, okay. Like, look at that. Oops. It's literally directly behind that thing. Who, I've never run into this before. How did I do this in the past? I've never, definitely never experienced this issue before. Like, look at that. The wire barely fits around it. I think I want it to go that way. It's crazy. All right. <clears throat> Get this back on. We got it. It's not a problem. We'll figure it out. All right, there we go. Drove three hours to Indiana to look at a car. Dealer had it. For 2K more than you found it online, they were gonna honor that price. But then, dot, dot, dot. Okay, there we go. 
So this guy, this cable is just for RGB. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, got that guy out of there. Everything is plugged in as far as the front is concerned. As far as the back is concerned though, we got some work to do. Okay, first, this is our um, cable for the pump. So let's get that installed before we confuse it for anything else. Um, CPU optional AIO pump is the second one over. Okay, got that. I do like how long that cable is. That's very convenient. <clears throat> then I said I've got it. I then I said I've got it for X. It's as much as I have. Can't go higher. So I get. Got to talk to the manager. And he walked. Talk to the manager. Reply, and he walked. My dad said he's gonna come out and deny you and lean on you for the rest. I said, yeah. Well, then leave without the car. Then you left without the car? After a three hour drive? <clears throat> okay. So, I'm gonna plug this one into this guy. This one into this guy. This guy. We're gonna have to go back down here. Manager comes back, turns out it's the owner of the place we get to talk in about where I came from. He mentioned me going to the University of Iowa on a golf scholarship. Oh, this is getting interesting. Okay, got that installed. So there's all of our fan cables installed. Okay, got that. Got those guys in there. Drove five hours to buy an SUV 20 years ago and the transfer case blew out on the drive home. Oh my God. Um, my first like full on adult buying experience wasn't quite that bad, but it was pretty bad. But I'll let Brian finish his story. <clears throat> he mentioned a guy that got the last Drake scholarship, which is why you ended up at Iowa. Uh, we knew how he was. His family lived a couple of blocks from your parents, talked about a bit more about Iowa City. Wow. What the heck? Where did that thing, thing come from? It was at a dealership that even traded me for another, thankfully. Oh, nice. Okay, so here's what happened for my first like big boy um, car buying experience where like I was paying for it all by myself, like not nothing like, nothing involved with like from my family or anything. Um, like the previous car I had bought from my uncle and stuff and he like did like a super, super nice deal on financing, whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> so I go and I bought a Subaru Legacy uh, sedan, six speed, um, you know, 2010, this was back in 2015. So like still a relatively new car, the newest car I'd ever had. The only car I'd ever had with under 100,000 miles on it. You know, yada, yada. Um, and within like two weeks, maybe three weeks of me buying it, the clutch went out on it. Like, um, so I called the dudes and they said, they're like, okay, like technically it wasn't covered by my warranty. And I had paid for a freaking warranty thing. They go, technically it's not covered by the warranty, yada, yada. 
but we will, you know, we will do the repair work for you for just the, um, the parts cost, which for a clutch, if you know, that's, you know, basically like a quarter of the cost is parts and all the rest is labor. So that was pretty, pretty nice. But then I had to drive across town with no clutch. So I would turn it off and then at like every stoplight and stop sign, I would turn it off and then I would use the starter motor to bump start it in like first or second gear and then, and then get going. Funny enough, about six months later, my starter motor went and I was like, oh, I don't know what happened. But that was covered, thankfully. I sure didn't tell him that that's how I had gotten there. <clears throat> got effed on your first car loan and dude went to your high school. Luckily it got totaled out. Hey, there you go. <clears throat> okay. These guys need to go through here as well. All that needs to go through there. I think we're gonna run all of this over to the side and over to there. Let's get a couple of zip ties out here. Just, just a couple. I don't think I've ever had someone say, luckily my car got totaled. <laughs> Told him, yeah, the place is still there. It's amazing, by the way. And he said he needed to get back there and try it. So he asked the salesman what your final price was. This is a riveting story, by the way. You've made even more so by the fact that it takes a little while to write it out in text. And so I'm like, oh, what's next? Good thing I ordered more Amazon cable ties because I'm, I'm almost out. 4K off their price. Salesman told him, he goes, yeah, I'll let you get it for that price. Saved you like 4K off their price. It was a 2003 330XI with only 35K on it. Nice. Um, 330 back then was still their inline six, right? Those old BMW inline sixes were just so good. I mean, I think they still sell some with, I think they still sell inline sixes, but I feel like most of their stuff is down to four cylinders these days. <clears throat> okay. That looks pretty well cable managed, don't you think? Don't you think? Um, shouldn't need that anymore. Or these scissors. Okay, CPU cooler fully installed. Everything's plugged in. Um, let's get our CPU power and motherboard power installed, and then we can get our GPU in, and we're we're basically done. <clears throat> All right, let's get this out. Yeah, 3.06. It's a great engine. Yeah, I had a uh, I used to have a Jeep Cherokee, 1998, with a the four liter inline six. Again, just absolutely bulletproof engines. Like great, great torque band, like pretty much constant torque throughout like the entire, the entire RPM band. Um, bulletproof. Mine had like 200 and something thousand miles on it by the time I sold it with the original engine and motor had never been rebuilt and was still running fine. Like it's crazy. <clears throat> Still got the keychains they gave me for the keys. I found out later that he lost the dealership from financial fraud. Oh, that's a bummer. <clears throat> that was in 2009. A long, long time ago. Can you believe 2009 was 13 years ago? No, 14 years ago, depending on what time of year. Crazy.
<clears throat> okay, got that out. Let's get the cables out that we need. So we definitely need power. Uh, we are gonna need that. <clears throat> we are going to need this GPU power cable. We are going to need at least one SATA cable. Okay. Uh, that should be everything we need out of there. And out of this bundle, we've had six more BMWs since then. Jeez, I thought I thought I've had a lot of cars for my in my short time living. All right, got that. PCIe, we don't want that. PCIe, we don't want that. CPU, CPU, we want both of those. We're gonna put those back <clears throat> and get this out of here. You have two at the moment. Oh, geez. Yeah, what do you have right now? We're actually in the market for buying a new, new to us vehicle. Um, the Volvo, while a wonderful, wonderful car, it just doesn't get the greatest gas mileage, and we don't need, we don't need the, um, like the third row anymore like we're not my wife we got it because my wife was working as a nanny and so she needed all that space like we just don't need the big of a car anymore and i'm sick of getting like 20 miles a gallon so we're probably buying a new car new to us car pretty soon <clears throat> you have an 03 e39 5 sport wagon Ooh, i like that i love i love a good sport wagon and a 9099 90, M3 convertible. Oh, those are some nice cars. I like that. One car you can't stop buying is the Focus hatchbacks. I love the Focus hatchbacks. I'm a sucker for a good hatchback, let's be real. You have an SE and the ST right now. You want an XM5 or Explorer ST. Oh, are those newer, the Explorer STs? Would love to find another E39 or E34 wagon. Yeah, I would uh, <clears throat> I would not be opposed to one either. My wife, however, not a big fan of wagons. She doesn't think they're aesthetically pleasing. Um, I think she's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but I do think, I do think wagons look really good. Um, one of the, like, if I was to buy like an, another old car, it would probably be like a sweet old wagon from like the 50s or 60s. They're just too freaking cool, man. Um, these are identical, I think. So let's get that one plugged in. Put that in. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Preferably five speed. You gotta go five speed. That's the one part that I wish um, for this uh, computer, or computer, for this car that we're gonna be getting. I wish we could get a five speed, but um, my wife isn't super comfortable driving the stick, and she's gonna be the one driving it all the time, so it's not gonna happen, but it's okay. We're looking at getting, it's not a, it's not a super interesting car, but we're looking at getting a Pretty new-ish Mazda 3. Uh, the, the ones we're looking at right now, there's a hatchback and there's a sedan model that we're looking at. Um, I really like them. They get great gas mileage. They're super reliable. And I think they look good. So it's probably what we're gonna end up, end up with. She likes them too. That's the other part is she really likes how they look. So while I like a lot of different car cars, how they look, She's maybe a little bit more particular. And she wants to have the heated seats. And one of the ones we're looking at has active, <clears throat> active or adaptive cruise control, um, which is really nice for her, especially when we're on like longer trips. If, I mean, I really like it for longer trips too, but she does more trips right now because like I work and she doesn't. And so if she wants to like go to Portland for the weekend or something to visit her family, like she can just go do that. Um, 
and having that adaptive cruise is really important. <clears throat> I really like the Mazdas too. Your dream car is a 56 or 57 Chevy Nomad. See, see, they're just so good. They're just too good. Okay, we can scooch this back on over here. Let's get our motherboard installed. Motherboard power installed, I should say. Okay, got that. Nice and tidy looking. Uh, get our one, we got this whole thing for one SATA cable. Okay, got that. I think we're just gonna kind of do this. Fold her back up. I really like, I kind of prefer doing it this way because it allows you to have flexibility. It allows the customer to have flexibility if they ever want to like add something later that requires SATA power. It's not like all super tidied up and whatever. It's just kind of right there. Just kind of stick it at the bottom of the case. And if they ever want it, they can just pull it right out. Cable management here. Okay. Okay. Pull that up like that to keep it kind of relatively tight. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Johnny? Are you gonna tag me when I do mine so I'll know when you're live building? I will do my absolute best. Um, right now, I think, I think just about everything's here. I'm just waiting on your um, white cables from Cable Mod to get here. So as soon as those get in here, we'll be able to build yours. That is all we're waiting for. Sixty-nine Ford Fairlane, oh, fastback, mm. so good. Hold on, hold on. Got to get this this little thing here. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, Ford Fairlane. I love I love a good fastback. I think my dad had, uh, I think his Mustang that he had back in the day was a sixty-six or sixty-seven fastback. Zip tie that baby up. Don't come after me. We've only used like three zip ties, okay? Just relax, chat. Just relax. We're not we're not becoming a TikTok builder, I promise. <clears throat> okay. Then let's get our GPU in, and then we can figure out how we want to cable manage the GPU power cable. At that point, we're done. Like we're like seriously, we're done. Dude, I'm stoked too, man. It's an awesome build. Your case just came in, so I'll have to go. I'm gonna go drop that off at the uh, what's it called? The the laser engravers here soon. Probably do it tonight if I can, and then yeah, we'll be off to the races. Don't need help driving the effing car. I can stay between the lines. No, not that kind of. No, 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 not lane keeping assist. Um, Adaptive cruise control is where you don't have, like you can just set your cruise control and not have to deal with um, like people slowing down in front of you and stuff. You can just let it go. That is super convenient, especially for long drives of just like not getting fatigued, you know? I don't like lane keeping assist. That's what you're talking about. I don't like lane keeping assist, but, but at, um, adaptive cruise, oh man, it's beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, I missed the previous message. You're an old school guy. Basic cruise is fine. If I could get a new car that had a manual, that had manual windows. <laughs> Why would you want manual windows though? Oh, 
I have manual windows in my truck, and it's kind of a pain because what if I wanted to roll down the passenger window while I'm in it and driving, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that, look at that, it's so pretty. Looks so good. So freaking good. Okay, sorry, I'll stop yelling. Another of my kids has brake assist and lane keeping. Oh yeah, I don't like that. Ooh, this actually comes with its own um, bracketry. I forgot about that. So we'll get that in there too. It's a um, it's an anti-sag bracket, but it like it bolts directly onto the GPU. So it's not like you're just kind of like propping it up a little bit. It like legit holds the GPU in place, which is awesome. Not too many, not too many companies have that. Um, I don't know if I've seen, I don't know if I've seen anyone else really do it besides Gigabyte. Several other of them have some level of GPU support, but not, not to that level. So I just gotta remember. I think this guy, I think this guy is on the GPU itself, and then this one goes here, or something like that goes over here like this. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to see if that, I'll have to see if this thing gets in the way though. I would definitely like to use it. It's a very good, very good tool, but. That is a freaking honking GPU, man. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Like how much room that has. <clears throat> Pretty sure this guy goes here, like that. With a couple of standoffs. How big are these standoffs? I think they might be just big enough. I think we can make this work. All right, so I need to pull out two of those bolts. <clears throat> having had to fix and pay for motors and regulators in your cars, having the glass tear out of the track because of ice. Oh, I mean, some of that stuff sounds like user error. Like the ice stuff. I mean, I guess maybe if the ice gets down in it, maybe it's not, I don't know. little fabric things on here. I don't know if that's required, but we'll put it on anyways. Okay, never mind. It doesn't really fit. They really don't want you to put it on there because it doesn't fit. She's gotten too close to vehicles in front of her. I'd be half asleep and wham! Yeah. I mean, that's like, that's exactly what you want it to do though. If you're getting too close, like if, if you're like legit gonna crash, that's exactly what you want it to do. I agree, it's annoying. But also, she wasn't going. She was paying more attention, that wouldn't happen. You know, that's just between you and me, though. Regulators come on spool that go to the motors. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, this, I think, is gonna need to get rerouted to a different spot. Pull that out. I'm gonna route it up. There's a CPU optional up there. I'll we'll just run it to that. But now, whoo, that is tight. Okay, let's do it. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Just double check. So there's three bolts over here. And then one bolt in the side. So three, four, and then five. So I don't think I'm supposed to use these bolts to hold this bracket in. I think I'm supposed to reuse these bolts. 
Yep, they're not even the same thread. Okay, good to know, good to know. Oh, wait. I have this extra one. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, got that one started. Gotta go with the kids outside? Okay. I think all the technology breeds indifference. Oh, I 100% agree. Oh no! The USB 3.0 is in the way! Can we not? Can we not make this work? Well, you're not getting that USB 3.0 out unless you also take out this this thing, but uh, other than that, it worked. Okay. And then let's hope this thing sticks out far enough that it's not getting caught by this. And hopefully it will be out there. Next thing we gotta do is you gotta put this on here somewhere. How does this thing work? Mm, I don't remember, I don't remember. I've done like one of these before. And it was a while ago. Let's go that way. Like this. Like that. I don't know what this hook is for. I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. Oh no, it has to go the other way. It needs, it needs to be taller than that. Okay, so it just hooks around the side like that. Okay. Sorry, I can't see your comments for a minute. While I do this. Okay, there we go. Got that one started. Alrighty, so we got that connected in. Please don't tell me that it's connected in from the back. Let me just reach behind it. Oh, thank God. Okay, got that. Pull out these connectors. This is somehow unknown to man, a two slot card. Does not seem like it. this up just a bit. Oh man, this is tight. It's tight, but we did it. Oh, why did that come loose like that? Okay, there it is. <laughs> and the interior of the GPU, or the interior of the PC is GPU. All of it, every bit of it. Just GPU. Good lord. Okay. Um, this cable is not super long, so we are gonna go at it from underneath here, like this. We gotta. Ooh. Oh, what the hell was that sound? Something just like made like a cracking sound. I really hope it wasn't an actual wire or anything. Uh, 
I guess we'll see. That's a weird sound. Okay, got that in there. We can put our bolts back here. Oh wait. Oh, they're on the other side. I left them over here somewhere. There they are. It's like those aren't the right bolts. These are. Got that. She's looking pretty, I agree. If this thing doesn't fire up, we know exactly what the problem was. That cable made a really weird sound when I had to kind of twist it down a little bit. I was not happy about that. I think it was just like the cable slipping in the sleeving, but I hope it wasn't something like doing something in there. Check the back here. I mean, I think our cable management is still done. Just need to trim off a couple of these cable ties. And then we need to reroute this guy. This guy needs to get rerouted somewhere else. Actually, the fact that it's tight, tightened down right there is not a not the end of the world. It might actually be a pretty good length here. Let's just run it back up to the front. And then right down to that CPU optional spot. Roll it into here. Like that. Good to go. All right. I mean, maybe not the, maybe not a perfect job back here, but I mean, honestly, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good if you ask me. And now we're gonna hide it so nobody ever sees it. Boom, check that out. Check that out. What do we think, chat? What do we think? All right. Y'all know what to do. I want to see some spicy fire emojis in the chat. And I'm going to fire this puppy up. I'm going to turn it on at the same time. We might turn you on. You never know. You never know with a computer so beautiful. Anything can happen. Don't feel bad about it. Go grab your pillows, fellas. Got some, got some fire emojis from Richard. I'm gonna need more than that. I'm gonna need more than that. Come on. Need some more fire emojis if you're over on YouTube. I need some fire emojis. Kick, I need some fire emojis. Richard can't do it all himself. I mean, just look at, just look at it. You're trying to tell me that. You're trying to tell me that custom UCLA, go Bruins, 
paint job doesn't deserve some fire emojis, you make me sick. You sick. <laughs> Come on. Need at least one more. Need one more person. Throw down some fire emojis so we can turn this bad boy on. Thank you, Uncle Bud. Thank you. That's what I appreciate about you. All right. Who's ready to see it? In all of its glory, the Wiz of Westwood UCLA PC of 2023. Who does the paint job? Either myself or Mrs. Redneck. This one was Mrs. Redneck. Pull back just a little bit. How does that look? Hmm? Tell me that doesn't look freaking sweet. Oh yeah, it feels good to sit down. I'm gonna maneuver my stuff around a little bit. Yeah, Mrs. Redneck and I do those. Um, we spend a lot of a lot of time and effort. Well, she spends a lot of time and effort coming up with the designs, um, and then either she or myself builds them. And you know what? I think they look great. I think they look amazing. Okay, if you're hanging out on the YouTube right now, I just wanna appreciate y'all for coming over. Thank you for hanging out. We are going to cut the live stream for YouTube right here at the end of the PC build. And we're gonna move on, we're gonna move on. AIO wrongly installed. Uh, yeah, Uncle Bud, we're probably gonna, we're gonna play a little Warzone. Um, Henry, have you ever installed an AIO? Cause uh, that's kind of how you're supposed to install it. You install an AIO, Mr. Henry. If you want to discuss the validity of the various locations in which you install an AIO, uh, feel free to come over to kick.com forward slash redneck engineer, and that's where we're going to be going forward with the stream. Moving forward, we will be over on kick for the gaming portion of tonight's stream. So if you're interested in discussing it further, head on over there. Kick.com forward slash redneck engineer spelled exactly the way you see it here on YouTube. Okay? Okay. All right, chat. If you're on YouTube, thank you for hanging out. We're going to move it over to Kick. If you're on Kick, I'm going to need like two or three minutes to move the camera over here so y'all can see my face. And then I'm gonna run to the little boys room, okay? So 
So just give me one minute here. You can feel free to ask more questions if you have any though. 